Hello everyone, welcome to Infigam. In this video, we will be solving one exponential equation which is x power 2 power x is equal to x power 16. So how we have to solve this question? Let's get started. But before that, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe right now. Thank you. I am going to take away x power 16 from both sides. So equation will convert into x power 2 power x minus x power 16 is equal to 0. If you will take away then right hand side x power 16 minus x power 16 that will become 0. Left side would be x power 2 power x minus x power 16. Now let us take x power 16 common out. So it will become x power 2 power x divided by x power 16 minus 1 equal to 0. Now you know one exponent property that is x power a over x power b can be written as x power a minus b. So it will become x power 2 raised to the power x minus 16 minus 1 equal to 0 and outside x power 16 as it is. Now two brackets, two product terms equal to 0. That means either one bracket equal to 0. So x power 16 can be 0 or second time x power 2 power x minus 16 minus 1 equal to 0. So from first equation I can write x is equal to flat 0. From this equation, we got x equal to 0. From second equation, if you recall this, so it is forming one function which we have seen in the previous videos that is a raised to the power b equal to 1 form. If you remember, so it is a raised to the power b equal to 1 form. So there are three cases if you remember. I am just giving you a brief detailing of that. Case 1, case 2 and case 3. When a raised to the power b will be equal to 1, see the conditions are when a equal to 1, your base is equal to 1 and power is equal to real value. First point is base 1 and power is some real value, then right side will come out 1 raised to the power any real value equal to 1. Second case, your power will be 0, that means B is 0, but important point is A cannot be equal to 0. Because 0 is 0 power 0, it will generate indeterminate form. So that we have to avoid. Third case, your base is negative 1, A is negative 1. Let me write a is equal to negative 1. At the same time, b should be even. If this holds true, then minus 1 raised to the power e1. So that will give us 1, which is our right hand side. So there are three cases of a raised to the power b equal to 1 form. So only we have to check all the three cases. And this is one of our solution you can see. So there will be in total three or four solutions possible. So let's find out those three solutions. Okay. So x power 2 power x minus 16 is equal to 1. x power 2 power x minus 16 is equal to 1. So this is your a power is b. Now let's say start. Case 1, when base is x is equal to 1 and this power should be 2 raised to the power x minus 1, this should be real. So let us let's find out. x is equal to 1, okay. Let us put the value 2 raised to the power 1 minus 16. So it will be equal to minus 14 
and which is real case 2 when your power is 0 so i will write directly b is equal to 0 power is 0 so 2 raised to the power x minus 16 equal to 0 but at the same time base should not be equal to 0 so x cannot be 0 so 2 raised to the power x minus 16 equal to 0 2 raised to the power x is equal to 16 that means I can write 2 raised to the power 4. So x is equal to 4. And which is not equal to 0 obviously. 4 is not 0. So x is equal to 4 is our solution. x is equal to 1 is our solution. And it is verified also. The second condition is true. Now come to the third case. x is equal to minus 1. Third case is base is minus 1 and power is even. So it may possible x is equal to minus 1. Now check for the power whether it is coming out even or not. So 2 raised to the power x minus 16. It should come out 2p form or let me write even. So put x is equal to minus 1. So that value will be 2 raised to the power minus 1 minus 16. So that value will be 1 over 2 minus 16. So it will be minus 15.5 and which is not even. Decimal it is not even. So not true. So you will write not true. That means you cannot accept this solution. So if you see the very first solution x power 16 is equal to 0. So overall, if we will write the total overall solutions, then first solution is x is equal to 0 from x power 16 is equal to 0. Now there are two more solutions x is equal to 1 from our function a power b case. So I will write x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. If you want to check immediately, you can check for all the three values. Let me check. X is equal to 0. So 0 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 0. So 2 raised to the power 0 is 2 raised to right hand side is 0 raised to the power 16. So 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. So 0 power 1 is equal to 0 power 16. 0 raised to the power 1 is 0. 0 raised to the power 16 is 0. That means x is equal to 0 is correct solution. Now come to x is equal to 1. So 1 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 1 equal to 1 raised to the power 16. So 1 raised to the power any real number that will be equal. So that is also correct solution. X is equal to 4. So 4 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 4. That should be equal to 4 raised to the power 16. So 4 raised to the power, if you take the product or you can take the 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. So that will be 2 raised to the power 16 equal to 4 raised to the power 16. So x is equal to 4. There are three values x0, x1 and x4. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe for more mathematics concept. Thank you.